What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to take a look at my collection of Willie McCovey baseball cards. I'm Brandon and I'm learning about sports cards. Let's get started. All right, first up, we're gonna start with his most recent playing day card from 1980 tops. It's like McCovey's in a windbreaker warming up or something. There's his uh, 79 tops card. And the 78, first one there with the actual people in the background. It's like they're maybe like pre-game getting ready. And this one's got that faux uh, signature from the 77 tops. And back when uh, McCovey was on the Padres, uh, this is the 1976 tops. The back. And the 75, that iconic uh, two tone color scheme. Some people like it, some people don't. I think it's all right. And then his last one here with the San Diego. Um, this one also, I think I need to find the other parallel or variation of this card. I'm not sure what it's called, um, but I think it's the other one where he was with uh, Washington. I think it's the same photo, but just uh, labeled Washington instead of San Diego on the front. And then the 73. Um, an actual game photo. Looks like he maybe popped it out into the stands. And with that black border, it's kind of rough. Might have to look into another card for this. Um, and then we're going to skip a couple years here. I've got the 69 tops. Um, this one's with the yellow text. I think there's like a white text and one other variation, I'm not sure. And then the 67 tops, I think that's a nice photo. The faux autograph. And then there's a handful of inserts. There's a Sporting News, National League All-Stars, I like this card, the uh, Giants Heroes with one Marshall. And the Friendly Foes with Leon Wagner. And it's probably one of my favorite cards, uh, the Fence Busters with McCovey and Mays. Uh, two of Giants greats and really baseball's greats. So I really like that card. And then I've got a handful of just random inserts. This one's from Kmart, uh, like a 20th anniversary card. And a card within a card, basically. Um, I think this is the one year removed. I think this is the 81 tops. So one year after he retired. There's a 75 most valuable players there with uh, Killebrew. So uh, 79 highlights. McCovey's 512th homer sets a new career mark for National League lefties. And the 77 record breaker, most times two home run innings. It's kind of crazy to think someone getting two home runs in one inning. There's a sporting news insert. And this one, I think this is the 82 McCovey's. I've got three different, uh, I guess, parallels of this card. The front's all the same, um, but the backs of these are all different. 
This one's got the black text with the MLB logo. This one is a, a very dark blue text with no MLB logo. And then the last one is like this tan back. I thought that was interesting. And then next up, we've got a couple of uh, memorabilia cards. The first one's from Fleer, and this one has Orlando Cepeda on there. I don't know why Cepeda is on the card. Um, there's only one piece of memorabilia. It is game worn by Willie McCovey. I love that it's dirty. It has this dirt probably from the infield. And there's some info on there, game worn by Willie McCovey. And then some information about Orlando Cepeda. Um, I think it's just kind of a missed opportunity. Like, why can't they put another little patch there uh, for Cepeda? But I don't know. The next card here is a game used bat card from SB, uh, Legendary Bat Cards. which I know some people aren't a huge fan of uh, game use, like uh, memorabilia and stuff, but I really enjoy it. And last couple things here, um, something a little bit different. Uh, we've got a Willie McCovey poster from uh, 1967. The faux autograph. And the final poster is a little more recent pickup um, from 1970. Um, great color on this one. Yeah, it's got it's all folded up and creased and everything, but I need to find another top loader that will fit this little poster. So that will do it for today. Thanks for watching. Yeah.